Hey everybody, this is Mike with Unity Intercom, and I want to talk uh, quickly about Unity Protect. This is a new subscription service that we are offering, and it's going to protect your data in a couple of different ways. Um, it offers data encryption, it offers a cloud backup. Uh, the backup is to Amazon Web Services, Amazon's cloud storage, and server monitoring. This monitors your server 24-7 and will let you know if there's an outage or an I.O. device problem. So I'll get right to it. When, you, when we have the new server, it's going to look like this. There's going to be a protect icon and the icon will bring you into the Unity Protect field where you will configure uh, the different aspects of protect. So um, the, at the very top, you have your Unity Protect status. Uh, my lights are all green. That means they are uh, connected, they're, they're activated, they're working. Um, and if you hover over them, it will tell you what actually what they all mean. Um, so I have enabled data encryption. I have enabled online backing, uh, excuse, online backing up and server monitoring. Um, so data encryption is just a toggle. Uh, I, I'm going to turn it off here so you can see that the data encryption uh, now kind of goes orange. Uh, it's letting me know, hey, as a warning, uh, all Unity audio is not encrypted currently. And the online backup and the server monitoring are basically the same way. So I'll, I'll go ahead and turn encryption back on. Um, just as a note, when you enable data encryption, this is going to enforce data encryption for all Unity clients. So that means that and you know, phones, tablets, uh, computers, they will need to be eligible for encryption. They have to be somewhat up to date. Uh, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some hard cutoffs and I'll go ahead and uh, show you on our webpage, unityintercom.com forward slash protect. Down here are some of the details. I'll let you guys go there on the website, um, but there is some of the details spelled out as to uh, what do we, what are the minimum requirements? Basically, it looks like it's, you know, a 2011 or a 2010 Westmere processor or later, um, iOS 13 or later, and Android 8. Uh, pretty generous. It, it's not going to be too bad. I, I think, you know, that's, that's going to encompass most devices out there are going to be eligible for this. But in the event a client is not eligible to uh, be, be encrypted, that client would be logged off and would not be able to log back on because everyone has to be encrypted in order for the whole thing to be secure. So that real, just a quick note about that. Um, okay, so the top field is our Unity Protect status notification. Um, and I just wanted to mention, well, since I'm up here, one thing, you'll notice the online backup is now orange. Um, that, that just indicates that I've made a change. And if I were to be idle, and not make any other changes, in five minutes, it's gonna do a backup. Uh, this is kind of like a smart technology so that it's not constantly backing up after every change I make. When I make a meaningful change, um, it will wait for a, a five minute period of inactivity and then it will go ahead and back that up. So that's kind of how that works. This will go green uh, once it backs up. So the second field here, notification destinations. Um, essentially, we're, put your email addresses in here, Put your phone, you know, put your cell phone number that you want text or do you want to get texted? If, if I'm saying that right, you put it right here. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the do not monitor times field right here. So just to make to be clear, if you don't check anything, that means monitor and notify um, all the time, 24-7, seven days a week. This is a do not monitor selector. So for example, if... if I don't care about Sundays. I don't care about Saturdays. Uh, I just want to, I just want 24 seven Monday through Friday. That's what I've just indicated here. Uh, so things that are checked are times that you do not want to be modified, uh, notified. And so like, for example, Sunday, 12 AM to 12 AM, that, that simply means the whole day. So when unity sees this 12 AM to 12 AM, it's going to call that the entire day. That's basically, I'm blacking out, uh, uh Sundays and Saturdays. Um, so otherwise I will be notified via email and text um, and I'll be notified at the email addresses and, and I can have multiples and at the phone numbers up here. And, I, and again, I can have multiples. Um, what sorts of things will trigger a text or an email are 
these right here. So this is where I'm putting in the information. There, it comes preloaded with, with, with a default canned message. Um, and these are the, the events that will create an email or a text, uh, a lost connection. So the, we lost internet, the network went down. Uh, essentially, the Unity, your Unity server is no longer talking to our monitoring service. We can't get a hold of you. Um, that's, it's, and and that, would, that should mean, theoretically, that other people can't log into the comm systems. Uh, you know, Unity is essentially down. So you'll get a text message, you'll get an email. An application error, um, that would be if if you were plugged into a, a, a you know an I/O device and then it just lo it, it either shut down, it died, somebody unplugged it. That will cause an error in Unity, and and when that error is present, that means that Unity lost its timing source, it lost its I/O device. Uh, Unity will actually not be something; it won't be running while in that error. So an application error will trigger an email and a text. Um, and then recovered from error. It will let you know that, hey, everything's good. So uh, if something happens over the night, when you know, I'll wake up and I'll see a, a, an email that there, there was an outage, uh, but then I see a, a follow-up you know, 60 seconds later that it recovered. So I, so I know driving into the office uh, that it, it resolved itself. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look and see what may have, may have happened, but I know the server's back up and running. So that's why that recovered from error is nice. You, you get a a little message that everything's good. So uh, lost connection, um, again, this is a subject and content. This is uh, what gets emailed and what gets uh, sent via text. Um, you get to choose application error and then recovered from error. And I, I have, everything's fine. We're all fine here now. How are you? And you can choose whether to repeat that. You can do it every 10 minutes, once an hour. And how many times do you want to repeat it? Um, and there, there is a limit. Um, yeah, f it, it'll do up to five times. We'll go back to no repeat here. I just, I just like, I just like personally, I just like the one. Um, so that is, you know, the, that is the functional side of the Unity Protect um, page in our in our Unity server. Um, that's that's basically how everything works here. Um, you would go to unityintercom.com forward slash protect, or you would bring up uh, in your settings, you, you could simply go to purchases here, and you can, uh, I have it installed, you can purchase a Unity Protect subscription. So there's no contract. Um, it, is a, it is a reoccurring monthly subscription, cancel any times, so you can self-manage. So um, you can click here to purchase subscription. It's gonna look like this. Um, eighty nine ninety nine a month, Unity Protect monthly subscription. I would simply add it to cart, and it, it here it is letting me know that it renews every month, and the next charge would be eighty nine ninety nine on October twenty second. So uh, that charge, you know, for that money to have the peace of mind to have all those backups, um, I think that you know that's a that's a fantastic investment, and to be fully protected with encryption, uh, protecting all that audio. We have a lot of customers. Um, and a lot of that comms audio is very, very important, and they want to they want to keep it private. They want to keep it protected. Um, Unity Intercom is actually not encrypted currently. Um, I don't know if if everyone out there was aware of that, but the the Unity Intercom server has never been encrypted. The audio is it's UDP audio, um, but it is not encrypted. So that's that's the whole point of this service is bringing elevating that level to encryption, um, obviously continuing to be certified with encryption to keep up with documentation that we do here at Unity Intercom. Um, that's the reason for the charge. Uh, and that helps us to be able to continue to do encryption and stay up to date on the latest, you know, latest methods and everything. That's, that's where this charge comes in. Um, so you click add to car. I just wanted to do to demonstrate one thing. It is $89.99 if you want to commit to the whole year up front. There's a little discount for $9.99. You can prepay the entire year and just enjoy encryption, you know, for that for that entire year. Uh, you can manage uh, you can manage your your subscription too from from our website here. So in cancel anytime, update credit cards and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that that that's essentially that's Unity Protect. Um, one thing that this also uh, adds, just a quick note. A lot of people ha are doing port forwarding, and they forward 
TCP and UDP port 20101 with encryption on. Um, if you're encrypted, Unity actually only uses UDP. So the TCP port would no longer need to be open, no longer need to be forwarded. Um, I know a lot of IT people will like that. They, if Often the TCP port is the one that certain corporate security protocols are, looked, are, are looking to block. Uh, UDP is usually n fine. Well, with, with Unity Protect, UDP is the only port that needs to be open. UDP port 20101. Uh, so that's one advantage there. It's a, it's a, the, the forwarding process is a little cleaner, but um, so th th I think that wraps up quick, you know, my quick video on Unity Protect. Um, let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Feel free to reach out to us. Obviously, we, we can explain things in more detail. Um, but it, it should be on the website, and it, it will be mostly pretty self-explanatory. Thank you guys very much.